crushing the meta. Big welcome to you all to our channel. We are Team Crushing the Meta, and you can call me D Boy. I'm here for you guys with a match. As you can see, it's on card fight area. Uh, the reason for that is it's easier to put commentary on matches that are played online or on area than the matches that we play in real life. We're also recording a lot of matches in real life, so if you want to see, um, like, Spikers against Arco Force or something, then tell us as well and we will make sure to do so but this will be just another series and we'll put that as matches online or matches with commentary uh, for you guys to see and to just to see our playstyle so this one is against blasters uh, as you can see he has a pretty good hand and <coughs> sorry <laughs> and my hand is a little bit weaker because I don't have great ones so I would have to give up my tiger and the two triggers to be able to get uh, the right cards. So let's see what we did I do. So I put the two triggers back and the tiger to be able to draw at least a great one. Um, a very friendly guy, so <laughs> I like that. Uh, he kept his hand so he didn't really need to shuffle. And I drew a perfect guard and two heal triggers. And the tiger again, which is alright. Um, he attacks, no, no guard. There is no reason to guard. It's not even a blaster. Uh, right here, as you can see, I don't ride into the next grade. The reason for that is, if I ride, he will be able to have the first ride. Against royals, it doesn't really matter a lot. But, he has a very strong grade 2 game. Royal Paladins. So normally, I would like them to rush me at grade 1, and when I go into the grade 2, I could rush them back. Of course, with this hand, I already had two grade 2s, and the Axiver that I just drew, so I have three grade 2s that could rush them back. Also, you could play differently. You could go into the grade 3 first, because they will not be able to uh, hit you a lot with their grade 2s. That's in the normal cases, but against Royal Paladin, it doesn't matter because uh, when they do need their boosters to make to be able to call or make their combos, so they will hit you anyway. So that's why I didn't write. So I drive check critical trigger, I gave it to the finger. I know that he could use his boss blade, but it was still alright with me. <laughs> Got a draw trigger, which is also nice. Um, there, I did make some changes to the deck, so if you want to see deck profile on that, I could show you. I put more draw triggers, but not too much. I still keep the aspect of criticals in this deck. He decided to use his, his Blast Blade to get rid of my Mega Trainer, which is understandable because he maybe think that I play True Ball Heart or Hill Heart. So, Crit Me put me out 4 damage, which is not that good. Uh, now I would have to go into the grade 2 because I didn't want to take more damage, but I don't really have to call anything else. I'm still waiting for his grade 2 game. So attack, hit, he does nothing, which gave him one face-up damage. So that's one extra attack. And let's see what he does. So he decides to stay at his grade 2 and call the new and the Blast of Rand, which is wrong, yep, I thought so. Um, he called the Flow Goal behind the Lou, and you, of course you call this one right here, uh, because you want to use your Blast of Blade and get the the extra Count Blast to use your Flow Goal. So from here I would have to guard this attack or let it through. I decided to let it through, just the reason that I knew that if he drive checked the critical trigger he could put it on the blast blade and that would kill me anyway so if I had to take one damage I would have to take the first one I went for one to pass um, the reason for that is that it was alright for me I mean I've already lost a lot of cards in hand so if I lose then so be it uh, so he attacks with the with his blast blade which got an extra 2k from the Liu so I would have to discard 15k shield 
and then he used the cut glass that he unflicked from the friend uh, to attack me again with the blossom blade i could go and discard any grade two it doesn't matter i have two two tigers in my hand and i kept one frog raider of course so go into the rising nova of course signature card of the deck and couldn't stride yet but i could use uh sea breeze so i was going for a sea breeze turn so discarded uh, my second tiger and cut last two to go into the sea breeze and as you can see i made the column one of my favorite columns right here so attack first with the lethal forward of course because i will get the axe diver and this is when I have to pause the video, uh, this is when this deck gets very, very, very deadly. Uh, the thing is, if you have a lethal forward on the field and you have something like an Eliza, that would make it that deck very, very strong. Uh, but you could also go with a double um, lethal combo. So you have a lethal right here and lethal right there. But I, you can do that if you go into your normal first stride, which is Super Rising Nova. But in this kind of event, I do like to gamble or getting the Axe Diver, and the Axe Diver will withstand the Lethal Forward. So that's just cool. I have three cards in hand, and I would definitely drive check a heal trigger, so that's alright. Now, Lyre Lips will go into the Soul, and I draw a card, so I'd have to put one more card from my hand into the Soul. And I haven't seen a lot of Grey Threes. So there is a big chance that I will be able to get grade threes on my drive check to strike next turn, uh, which I definitely would survive with two heal triggers in hand or maybe three if I drive check one more. And now I use the Axe Diver skill to bind and call the lethal forward, give an extra 5k. He get an extra 2k from his charging ability and the Axe Diver get an extra 5k from his skill and extra 5k from Rising Nova skill. He doesn't guard, um, as I thought I will get a heal trigger and heal the perfect guard of course, give the power to the frog raider and now, I gave this time the power to the lethal forward because I did really want the lethal forward to hit and I attacked, he didn't guard which I didn't thought that was possible but as you can see because he was able to rush me and put me out a lot of damage. I had enough counter blast to be able to use uh, the skill of Rising Nova and Lethal Forward. And if I had an Eliza, then that would be overkill. But I will show you that in the next video. So 